Hi, it's Jenny from Buggy Baby, and today we're taking a look at the Ickle Bubba Venus Jogger. This is a brand new product from Ickle Bubba, and this is an off-road jogging push chair. You can use it straight from birth, although you can't use it for jogging until your child hits about nine months of age, and it will take your child all the way up to 22k. As with all the Ickle Bubba products, it comes in various packages, so you can either buy just the push chair alone, which retails at £269. Now, although I'm saying alone, it does still come with a foot muff and a rain cover and also a pump for the tyre. And then there are various packages that you can purchase that will either include a newborn cocoon, which you can put in there from your child from birth, or a car seat and a compatible base. So I've not seen this one firsthand out of the box. I've read about it and I'm really excited to have a look around this and see how it compares to other off-road freewheeler push chairs. So what we're going to do is get this out of the box and we can have a look at all of the features on it and take a really good look around it. So in front of me are the contents of the box and we are taking a look at this in the black and space grey colour and this is the prime package that we're looking at so you do get some extras in this over and above the basic push chair which we'll take a look at in a moment. Now if you haven't heard of Ickle Bubble before, they're a really great brand if you're on a budget. Not only are they really good quality push chairs but they offer various packages to include all different things. So if you are on a tight budget, it means you can pay one amount and it will include everything you need for your newborn. So have a look at them on buggybaby.co.uk. They do all sorts of different types of push chairs and we are taking a look at its first off-road push chair with airfield tires. So included in the package, obviously you're gonna get your tires and look at the size of those absolutely amazing for off-road um, airfield tyres which we'll have a look at properly in a moment you also get a detachable bumper bar a rain covers included you have here the foot muff so this is the space grey colour you've got really nice um, black leverette detailing on there and here is our newborn cocoon. So this is gonna be able to attach to our push chair so that if you don't want to put your child in there straight from birth, straight into the seat of the push chair, you can put them in this newborn cocoon instead. So first things first, you'll need to attach the rear wheels to your push chair. It looks pretty simple. It looks like they're just gonna slot into place. So let's have a go at that. There we go. And I can see the brakes on, so that's why that's not turning. But first off, before we do the other wheel, we'll take a closer look at these tires here. So if you haven't used an air fuel tire before, these are absolutely amazing on any terrain. So they're specifically in mind for um, off-road use. And that's because an air fuel tire has enough give to make sure that it goes over any bumps really smoothly but they're not only great for off-road they're actually brilliant on smooth surfaces as well and that's because of the grip that you have on the tire you can see it's just like a bicycle tire and what that's going to do is give you complete control over a smooth surface as well so although you would tend to find air fuel tires on an off-road push chair they are suitable for urban use as well the only thing you'll find if you're using a air fuel tire off-road push chair is that they're normally a lot larger than an urban push chair. So if you're using this around the shops, you may well get in people's way a little bit more than you would if you were using a smaller urban stroller. And that's because we have this wheel at the front, the third wheel, which um, rotates round and can get in the way of people's feet if you're not careful. It's just a larger push chair, so it's just not going to be as sleek through the aisles of a shop. But the actual um, push chair and how it manoeuvres will be amazing on any surface. So let's get the other wheel on. So here is the push chair once you have attached both of those rear wheels. And we can see here, as I said, the front wheel is a spinning wheel. And if you are going to be using this for jogging, which... Um, as I mentioned at the start, they suggest you don't do that until your child hits nine months. You can actually lock this front wheel in place so that will help you to keep in a straight line and also keep you more stable when you're jogging. 
So if you are going to lock that wheel, what you'll need to do is spin it around so you've got this red part here facing you and then you click that up into place, you can hear it, make a little sound and then you've got that front wheel locked. It's also useful actually to have that front wheel locked if you're going over really, really bumpy ground. So if it isn't just normal kind of countryside walk and perhaps you're in the forest, which this would be great for, you can lock that front wheel just to make it easier for you to manoeuvre. So before we have a look at everything else, I want to have a look at the newborn insert so we can see how that goes into there. So there, here it is. It's a newborn cocoon, sorry, I should say, rather than an insert. And it's basically a soft carry cot that you can just pop onto the seat. And what that's going to do is just make it a little bit more cocooned for your very small baby. Of course, if you wanted to, you can just put them straight into the seat. But let's get this set up and have a look and see how that works. So when you unstrap this and have a look inside, you can see here we've got two sides that we need to insert. There we go. So two sides and also two ends. And what that's going to do is stabilise this cocoon so it's not all falling in. And to pop them in, you can see you've got zips here on either side and we're just going to insert and I'm going to check on the instructions that I'm doing it the right way around insert them in so you're going to put it this way round it's effectively just a piece of cardboard really um, but you can see that it's going to do a good job of making it stable so we're going to pop them in as easy as I hoped it would be okay there we go and then slide it in ah. okay there we go that one's in place let's stick an end on these look both the same, so it won't matter which way around you put it. There we go, and then I'll do the other two and come back to you. Right, I've got all of that in place now. It's a little bit fiddly, but it is really easy to do. It's just a bit fiddly to get it through the first part of the zip, and then you simply just push it in. At that point, it's quite easy, and you can see that that then stabilises this newborn cocoon. You then get with it included this little um, apron, I would call it, and that just simply zips on. You've got another little leverette detailing there as well. And there you go, that is your newborn cocoon. So what I can see there is it's pretty narrow, um, very long, but pretty narrow. So you're going to have limited use really once your child gets... Um, a bit larger you might want to move straight onto the seat but of course you could only have your child in here up until they start sitting up anyway so you've really only got six months of use with this in any case so what we're going to do next is see how this fits on to the push chair so this cocoon has to go in so that it would be forward facing so you're not going to be parent facing with this cocoon something to bear in mind if you are keen on parent facing when your child is small the only way you're going to be able to do this on the venus jogger is if you purchase the compatible car seat and in that case you can attach that on using the adapters and the baby will be facing you but if you're just going for this newborn cocoon the child will be world facing so do bear that in mind so to attach it if you can see here there's two studs and that's going to align with the studs on our cocoon so you'd pop them in you would attach the little poppers here there we go that's easy enough to do and then you would using these straps here pop them underneath the seat and we've got another strap here which goes you can see there i've got a little hole there to put that through and then you would just get around the other side simply 
fasten your straps underneath the seat on both sides so that's really easy to do um, as I said for me the only concern with the newborn co um, cocoon is that you can't be parent facing that's it really other than that it's a really nice little useful thing to have you can see there it's going to keep your newborn really well protected really well covered a really nice place for them to sleep so a nice little touch i really like the quilted inside this is something that you'll see quite often on ickle bubba's products is this nice quilted material quite often you'll find them on the foot muffs and it's really really soft material so it actually has quite a luxe feel to it even though the product is at the cheaper end of the scale so i really like this once you're finished with the newborn cocoon, one of the great things about these sorts of products is that they're really easy to store. All you're gonna do is take those sides out and then you can, you saw how small that was when we um, unfolded it before we put the sides in. So it's really easy for you to store, perhaps keep it for your next child. Now we're gonna look at the push chair itself. Now, one of the first things I want to say is it's quite a heavy product. It weighs just over 12K. Um, so if you were to have any problems with lifting this type of push chair, that's just something you wanna have a think about. So we get included with this a detachable bumper bar. So depending whether you want this on or not, you just click it into place. That's a really nice, useful thing to have as your child gets older, like a little grab bar for them. You can put a little toy around it. Quite often, um, children just like to have somewhere to either put their feet up or to hold on to. It's especially good when you're jogging because what it's going to do is just add a safety element. If the push chair was ever to go onto its side, it would just help protect your little one. So it's a nice thing to have when you do use it for jogging. And again a nice thing about Ickle Bubba's products is they often come with a foot muff or an apron in this case it's more of an apron and they're really nicely designed they're really nice quality so they've got really good thickness to it so perfect in the winter that's going to give really great, great coverage and comfort to your child going to look at the seat in more detail now so as i said this goes up to 22k so that's going to take your child somewhere up to about the age of four years old and you can see here that you're going to have absolutely tons of room for your child as they reach that upper age limit which is fantastic quite often when you have slightly higher age limits on a push chair you do wonder if your child's going to be a bit uncomfortable in there as they reach that age limit not going to have a problem with this there's loads of space not only is it long it's also nice and wide i'm going to remove this bumper bar so that we can take a look at the seat a bit more closely so i can see here i was just seeing whether this is detachable but it's not so it's not although it looks like a liner in here it's not it's actually attached it's really well padded and again you've got the really nice quilted design this is not as soft as the quilted design that we have in the newborn cocoon um, but it's plenty soft enough i mean if you wanted to you could add a, a liner um, when your child's very small um, but there's no real need to it's very padded so they're going to be completely comfortable and we have it now on its full recline so you can see there it's almost completely flat perfect sleeping position for your child when you're out and about and you've got these nice sides here so they're going to be really well protected in the push chair time to look at the recline now so let's bring this around so we can have a look okay right so this is a strap recline really common recline to find when you're looking at this type of push chair and one of the great things about having a strap recline is it means that you can have the seat in any position you want which is great so you're not restricted at all now to use this so we're going to be pulling it up first you can see here this little mechanism that you're pushing in and then you would bring the seat up by just pushing that class up into place so if we have a look this is on the most forward position that i can get it on there we go so that's a really nice position for the highest one we can get it in let's just pull this here 
There you go. Okay, so your child's going to be sitting nicely forward there. A still very slight recline. So it's a great upright position. Your child's going to be sitting forward really nicely in the seat there. And of course, as I said, because it's a strap recline, you can have it like this. You can have it completely lie flat and anywhere in between, which is perfect. Now, next up, let's look at the straps. It's a five point harness. Um, there's nothing fancy to these straps at all. They're completely just normal basic straps. And here we go, if we undo these, they're gonna be nice and easy to fasten. You just pop it in, simple as that. And then of course, you've got this little bit of padding here, which is just gonna make it more comfortable for your child. And also we've got these chest pads as well. We've got a plastic foot plate here, so if you are off on muddy walks, this is going to be really easy for you to maintain when your child leaves dirty foot marks. So that's really good. Again, it's, it's a very common thing for a freewheeler that they tend to be really practical, so that they're easy for you to maintain and keep clean. And that is obviously because when you are using it off-road, you're going to get mud everywhere, also in... Um, in all of the areas around the wheels, etc. So they're just designed to be really easy for you to maintain. I wanna have a look at this hood next. So let's pull this out. Okay, so we've got a little bit of extra material here just to help um, keep the sun out of your child's eyes. And this is UPF 50 plus. So it is gonna provide adequate protection for your child when they're in there. And one of the things I think this has got, there's a zip here. So it should be, there we go, there it is. It's extendable. Wow, there we go. I love an extendable hood. Now, the, it's not very common to find an extendable hood when you're at the slightly cheaper end of the range for push chairs. So this is a really nice bonus for this price point. It's normally just premium products that you would find that on. So I love that, that we've got an extendable hood. Now you can see there, that is gonna give brilliant coverage for your little one. If you would have them on lie flat, in fact, let's have a quick look at that. Let's pull this seat down. You can see how quick and easy it is to pull that seat down. Look at how much coverage your little one is going to have when they are sitting in, in there. So one of the good things about having such a large hood and about having all of this side material is that if you want your child to nap in the pushchair, you want to give them as much privacy and darkness as you can, um, especially if you don't like completely covering the pushchair up, which isn't completely advised to do that anyway. You can see here, they're gonna be completely private, cocooned, and it's gonna be really peaceful for them in there. So I love that really nice part of this push chair that they've added this extendable hood and that we have all of this privacy for your little one. So the hood is in the space gray color. It's not an overly thick material, but it's everything that you need in a hood. You're not going to want anything more than that. And if we have a look back here, let's spin this round. Am I knocking over? See what I said to you about the front of the wheels? You can get in people's ways. That's how. <laughs> okay, so we have a look at these zips here. Ah, oh, that's a little surprise. So in here, you have got a pump for your tires. Very, very useful. And a nice little storage pocket there. Okay, that's great. That's not actually what I was looking at. I was trying to find, there we go, the peekaboo mesh. So this is good for you to keep an eye on your little one, but also it's gonna add some ventilation as well, which is great in the summer months. And it's magnetic, so I can feel there there's a little magnet which will keep that completely closed for you so it's not going to flap around and whilst we're here let's have a look at the zips here aha this is what i'm trying to do okay so there's a little hook here and a little button so this rolls up I can fasten this. There we go, okay. 
and what that's going to do is just add even more ventilation on a hot day for your little one and also it's going to allow you to see them as well so especially when they're tiny and you want to just keep an eye on them you don't want to disturb them there you don't want to put your face around there and disturb them this is really useful but the main use of it is for if it's hot and you need ventilation to get through to your child so again another really nice little touch that you might not find on some other cheaper push chairs. So I love that. Really easy to use, just sips back up. You have on this push chair an adjustable handle. You can see there, it's really simple to do. You just press these two parts in and then click it into place when you have it at your desired height. So if you're really tall, you can have it right up high. And if you're really tiny like me, you can have it down or if you've got your maybe a younger sibling pushing you could have it all the way down here so I love an adjustable handle what this is going to mean is no matter who is pushing the push chair perhaps it's going to be between you and your partner maybe they're taller than you maybe they're smaller than you you're always going to have the perfect pushing position which is absolutely vital especially when you're using something off-road because it's really important that it's comfortable for you to push and it's just going to be great for you to maneuver we've got foam around the handle here now that's going to make it nice and comfortable for you to hold one of the only things I would say with these types of handles when they're tightly covered in foam is they're quite easy to rip if you don't maintain them. So just bear that in mind. And you also have here a little strap, which if you're jogging with the push chair, you would pop that around your wrist and that's just going to give a little bit of added security should you be going too fast and you lose a little bit of control. So that's great as well. Let's look at the all-important basket. Now, I tend to find on three wheelers you don't always have a great size basket. This one doesn't look too bad. So it's not massive. You're not going to get absolutely loads in there, but you would certainly get your nappy bag in there. Perhaps you could squeeze a little bit of shopping or a light coat in there. The only thing that you want to be careful with is the back is very shallow. We can see we've got really high sides and a high front, but this part here is quite shallow. So you just want to be careful that you don't put really any valuables in there just in case they fall out. But of course, you've got this little extra pocket up here. So you can pop your phone or your keys in there or perhaps Perhaps if you're listening to music while you're jogging, you could pop that in there as well. Here are our brakes. It's just a brake bar, so you're going to push it down to lock your wheels and then you're going to pop it up with your foot to unlock the wheels. We'll take a look at the fold on this now. So when you fold this push chair down, as it says here, you can only fold it back when the backrest is fully reclined. So you need to make sure that that is all the way down as we have it here. And then the fold, you need to do that using the handlebars. And it's a two-handed fold. So if you can see here, we've got these two parts either side on the handlebar. You're going to push them up. And then once they've been pushed up, you the frame will collapse down. And then what you would do is using this clip here, you have to manually do this. It doesn't automatically go into place. You would just pop that over the pin and then that will stop the frame from moving around. So if we turn this over, so you can see the full size of the fold, you can see with those large rear wheels, it is a large fold. And what you can do if you want to is you can actually easily remove the back wheels to make it a little easier for you to store if you're popping it in a smaller car boot. And if you wanted to do that, there's this little part here that you push down and then the wheels just release. So it's really easy to do. And you'd need to very carefully store those rear wheels on top of the push gel, wherever you need, just so that you don't damage them at all. And then to pop it back in, just slot it back into place. You'll hear a click, there we go. Okay, so you can get away creating more space, um, but if you didn't want to take the wheels off every time, you will need to think about how much room this is going to take up in your car boot or in your house when you folded it down ready for storage. 
One of the other things I'd say with the fold is because the push chair is quite heavy, when we unfold it, which we'll do now, it does need you to have just a little bit of strength to put it back up into, into place. So we're gonna use this handlebar here and then we're gonna click it, there we go, back into place. So you can see there, the fold was really easy. The only things you'll need to bear in mind is that it is a two-handed fold, so you'll need to be able to put your baby down safely while you're folding it down, and also it's the size and the weight of it as well, which you just need to have a little think about to make sure that that's gonna suit your needs. So that's all the features of the Ikobaba Venus Jogger. And now I'm just gonna go over a few points to help you to decide whether this is the push chair for you. So you can use this from birth up until four years of age. One of the things I notice is that the seat is gonna give you absolutely loads of room for your growing child. So when they're reaching that upper age limit, space is not gonna be an issue, that's great. The other thing about this push chair is it is designed for off-road use and also for jogging. However, if you're using it for jogging, they do advise that your child needs to be at least nine months of age before you start using it for that. Also, if you do decide to attach a compatible car seat to the push chair, you can't jog while that car seat's in place. So there's a couple of things to bear in mind there. If you are planning on buying this solely for jogging, you will need to think about that time where you can't actually use it when your child is very small. You can attach the newborn cocoon to the push chair. It's really easy to do. The only thing with that is you can't have the cocoon parent facing. It does need to be world facing. Here is the cocoon that comes with the prime package and the cocoon. I really liked the materials here. The quilting's lovely, really, really soft. It's just very narrow. So it's limited use that you'll get from this, but it's a nice little addition if you do choose to buy the prime set. Now, one of the features that makes this very different from its competitor, which um, is another brand that looks really similar to this, is that you can actually pop a car seat onto here. So where we have this detachable bumper, if you remove that, these little inserts here is where your adapters would go, and then you can pop your car seat on. And that does mean while your child is small, you can have them pair it face in. One of the features that I absolutely loved about this push chair is the extendable hood. As I said in the video, it's really rare to find a cheaper push chair with such a great extendable hood. And it really does make a difference when you're out and about with your child to have that extra privacy that a large hood provides them. And also, of course, it's going to protect them from the wind and the sun. So I love that feature. You have got fabulous air filled tires. So really, really large rear tires, a smaller swivel front tire, and I personally love an airfield tire. I know some people are nervous of them because of the fact that you can occasionally get a puncture, but to be honest, punctures are few and far between and they're really easy to fix and sort out. This comes with a pump, so you don't have the worries of having to purchase a separate one. And with these tires, not only will they be absolutely amazing for any off-road terrain, they are also great, as I said earlier on in the video, on smooth terrain. You've got a really great grip on them. So wherever you're using this push chair, it's going to be really easy and lovely to manoeuvre. The downside to having such large tyres is that it does create a large fold and as I showed you earlier you might want to think about removing those rear wheels if you don't have enough space in your boot and the other thing about having these sorts of tyres on this size push chair is if you are using this in and out of the shops it is quite large when you're going around the aisles and this tyre can pose a problem to people's ankles if you're not careful. So hopefully I've given you all the information you need to be able to choose whether this is the right off-road push chair for you. If you'd like any more information, you can go on to buggybaby.co.uk. And if you have any questions at all, please do leave them in the comments.